Transhumanism is the ultra high tech dream of computer scientists, philosophers, neuroscientists, and many others. It seeks to use radical advances in technology to augment the human body, mind, and ultimately the entire human experience as we know it. It is a philosophy which supports the idea that mankind should proactively enhance itself and steer the course of its own evolution. Transhumanists wish to become what they call post-human. A post-human is someone that has been modified with performance enhancing body and brain augmentations to the point that they can no longer be called human. They have mutated themselves into an altogether new being. To most people, this sounds like something from a science fiction film. Few are aware of constant breakthroughs in technology which make the transhumanist vision a very real possibility for the near future. Neurochip interfaces, computer chips that connect directly to the brain, are being developed right now. The ultimate goal of a brain chip would be to increase intelligence thousands of times over, basically turning the human brain into a supercomputer. Lifelong emotional well-being is a key concept within transhumanism. This can be achieved through recalibration of the pleasure centers in the brain. Pharmaceutical mood brighteners have been suggested which will be cleaner and safer than the mind-altering drugs of today. The goal is to replace all aversive experience with gradients of pleasure beyond the bounds of normal human experience. Nanotechnology is a pivotal area concerning transhumanists. It is the science of creating machines which are the size of molecules. Nanotech assembler machines will be able to build at an atomic level and replicate any chemically permitted form of matter. Such machines could create organic tissue for medical use. Using this type of technology could dramatically prolong lifespan. Some experts say that it will soon be possible to live forever. Artificial intelligence, the creation of thinking robots, is closely related to the mind-machine merger concept of neurochips. Much speculation is being done as to what relationships will exist between enhanced humans and AI machines. Some believe that machines will completely take over. Others believe that machine parts will be added to human bodies to create cyborgs. And still others believe that humanity will merge totally with digital technology by uploading individual consciousness to a virtual reality. Upon being downloaded, one could live forever within a computer-generated reality, leaving the physical body behind. In this machine, the individual can merge their intelligence with the collective intelligence of all others in the digital reality, effectively becoming one super-intelligent being. This concept is popularly referred to as the hive mind. These scientific breakthroughs sound so amazing in advance that it makes one wonder if they can actually be done. But a more important question is, should they be done? It is understandable that people want to have happy, healthy, abundant lives with as many years to experience as possible. The concept of a better world for the common person is what fuels the transhumanist movement. However, surveying the world of today without thinking of dreams of tomorrow reveals some cold, hard realities. The main one being that the world as we know it is run by a sociopathic group of elites who are anything but generous. This has been the case throughout history. The idea that such technology would be shared with common people contradicts the lessons of the past. And if the technology were to be given to common people, a greater danger exists. The science of controlling populations can be fully realized through the use of brain chips. This is a possible control freak's dream come true. A completely digitized population that can be manipulated in the same way one controls a computer. Just who will be behind the post-human keyboard? The transhumanist agenda caters to a materialistic mind. It offers us the key to emotional well-being, superior intelligence, and prolonged existence. It completely ignores the fact that these things are readily available to us right now. Science has tried to drum out our built-in spiritual connection to the universe and replace it with a lacking version of objective reality in which the facts speak for themselves. Our rational minds are anything but rational because they automatically assume that something is one way or another. We can either be religious or scientifically minded. 
There is no third alternative. You are either this or that, one or the other. It is through this lack of personal investigation that we lose sight of ourselves and decide to follow established lines of thought. We ally ourselves with movements rather than empower each other's unique individuality. And thus, the hive mind is born. Do you really want to live forever within a machine? And who's to say that we aren't already in such a machine, searching for a way out? What we need is an understanding of true spirituality, not a high and mighty techno-future solution to our perceived worldly problems.